happy. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Oregon. Thank you, Eugene. That was so great. So great. I came here. I came from Boulder. And you know, they say that once you get to sea level, it's easier, but hey, 26.2 miles is hard, whether it's sea level or altitude. This was really great. It's my first trip to Eugene. Um, it was beautiful. It was really fun. The crowd was great. I want to thank everybody, the volunteers, the race director, all the other runners. It was really a great race. Painful, but great. It's a marathon win for you. Uh, another one under the belt, something else? You know, for me, I just qualified for my third Olympic trials. I've been doing this for a long time. And, and my life is so different now than in the 2000, 2004 Olympic trials. I, I'm the CEO of a big statewide company and I have a family. And so my training is so different now that to me this race felt so much because I was, I, I trained like everybody else. I didn't, I didn't get to train the way I used to. So this felt really, this felt like an amazing win to me. I've been, this is a long career and I just, I'm thrilled I can still do it. And I, and, and I really, I'm thankful for everybody here for helping me get through. How many marathons did you say you ran in your career? Oh gosh, how many marathons? I don't even know. I mean, 20, 30, I don't know, a lot. Is this your PR? No, this is not my PR. My PR is about, is 240. I was, I'm usually pretty consistent around there. But you know, this, like I said, because of my lifestyle and my training now, and I train like normal people, this means a lot to me. This is, for all those people who work full time and have families, that you, this is, this is what, this is that kind of a race for me. I'm 34, 34. So there's a lot of young, fast girls nowadays that, that they're, there's, you know, I kind of look up to them now. I'm, I'm getting old in the sport. How many kids? I have a golden retriever. He's my kid. I have a golden retriever and a, and a super supportive husband who did the half out here for me and a really supportive coach who was actually out here too. So I have a big support system. What was your training like? You know, because I work so much, I would really, I'd be up at about 5.30, 5.45, um, kind of train on my own. Two days a week, I'd meet my coach and my training partner, and I'd block out my work schedule till about 10 a.m. just so I can, you know, get stuff in. And then I literally go from the workout to work, to shower, to eat in the car, to there's life, come home, get dinner ready, feed the pets, make sure that my someone's cooking dinner. So, yeah, my training is, you know, about 70 miles a week, which is a lot less than I used to do, but I think it goes to show that experience means a lot. I, I, I went pretty conservatively until about 16 or 17, and then I started to pick it up. There was a great pack of us, which is not that common. Women, for some reason, we don't stick together very well, but there was a big pack of us until about 17, and then I was with the girl who got second just until 25. I passed her at about 25 and a half. So there was a great group the whole time. It helps a lot, yes. You, you can think a little bit less. What's your running background? Did you run in college? Yes, I ran at Villanova, but I was a heptathlete and a triple jumper and a long jumper. Really? I didn't get into distance running until the end of my college career. And I re what's funny is being here at the track reminds me, when I ran track in high school, I was a sprinter, and we would hide behind the pole vault pits while they ran the two-loop warm-up. And so to think that I'm now doing marathons when I used to hide from the two-mile warm-up um, is, is quite ironic. But yeah, I was a, a heptathlete and a jumper. So the, the distance is, I, I got into it after college, but yeah, I ran for Villanova. Yeah. So much history in this town, distance uh, running especially. As someone who's into it, does it make it special for you to, to finish in, in this stadium and to run on those trails? Oh my gosh, it was amazing. You know, you're so dead and you're so miserable. And literally the second I came down the road and got on the track, this is, I, I actually almost went to school here. And so to, to be able to run on this track, now was was amazing